Hello everybody, this is Phil from iPodTouchBallet.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your iPhone or iPod Touch's screen on Windows. So you remember I did a Mac version of this tutorial not long ago. So first off, let me go ahead and uh, show you here. I have my iPod right here. iPod Touch. And uh, before I get started though, I do want to give a quick little update on the cell phone situation. I did end up ordering a Sidekick 3 which I absolutely love and uh, I may do some videos like on it as in like theming it and stuff like that um, don't know yet but it is unlocked for AT&T and it's pretty amazing so I just wanted to have that have that said that I do have a, a sidekick right now until I can get a new iPhone which may be whenever a new one is released I don't know so yeah guys today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, record your iPhone or iPod touch your screen on your Windows computer. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys what you need to have on your iPod. So what you want to go, go ahead and do on your iPod is go into uh, Cydia. You will need a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch and a, a Wi-Fi connection by the way. Go ahead and go into Cydia here. You want to go into search and you want to search something called VNC spelled V-E-E-N C Y. Right there. B and C. You want to go ahead and install that. And confirm. While that's installing, what you want to do on your computer is you want to go ahead into your internet browser of your choice. I will be using Google Chrome. And you want to look up real. B and C. I'll have a link to it in the video description to your right to download it. Uh, you just go to Real VNC site like this. Um, you want to go ahead and hit VNC downloads. Scroll down, hit download and use for the free version. Unless you want to buy the personal or, or enterprise, I just go with the free version here. It's going to ask you for some information. You can just hit proceed to download without filling anything out. Now. You can go right here, I'll have the latest releases, you can do the free version with the, both the server and the viewer, or if you want, you can just download the viewer, whatever you would like. Um, I'm going to be doing the whole thing, I'll be doing the executable, but if you'd like to save a little room, you could also do it as an, in a zip folder or whatever, but I'm just going to do the executable, and hit download. Click right here where it says, I accept these terms and conditions, and hit download, and save. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, why am I doing this video? Um, I'm remaking it. I made it about five months back when I had my web, my other webcam, which was worse quality than even the webcam I'm using right now um, for the iPod touch scenes. But um, it was a horrible webcam, and I didn't use a screen capture program, so everything was hard to follow. But yeah. So after you have that done, you want to go ahead and click on your executable down here, wherever. You want to hit run. Go ahead and minimize that. Right, so was, right here it'll say welcome to the VNC setup wizard, hit next, accept the agreement, next, and save where you want to save it and everything, and just go through all this, and if you want you could create a desktop of a uh, quick, quick launch, I'm going to do a quick launch uh, icon here, hit install, and just wait for it to install. Now. Your iPod, after you finish installing it, should say Restart Springboard. Go ahead and hit that. Wait for it to get better in color now. Alright. Now after that, everything will look pretty much normal. Alright. Go ahead and set this aside now, and let's get back to the computer. Now it'll ask you some stuff right here. You can just go ahead and hit cancel. And then right here, you can hit next and finish. Now you can go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna use the quick the quick launch icon that I had made. And now you're gonna to have to find your server. Now to do this, um whoops, wrong one. To do this, to find your server is really your IP address. So to find your IP address on your device you want to go ahead and go into your settings application then you want to go ahead and go to Wi-Fi and click on your little arrow and it'll show your IP address right there 
or my fingers over. All right? And you can go ahead and type that in to where it says server. So I will do that right now. I accidentally closed it out. Okay, here we go. After you have that typed in, hit OK. Now, on your device, you're going to get a pop-up that looks like this. It's going to say accept connection from whatever. Hit accept. And now, as you can see right in the middle of here, we have my iPhone, my iPod Touch's screen. So, as I move it here, you're going to see it will move up there. It's a little laggy, of course, but that's because it is wireless. Also, I can go on my computer itself and move it, as you can see, hands-free. It's pretty cool, and it's a really good little plugin. So yeah, guys, this is Phil from iPodTouchBala.com. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Um, 